conference, the Miss Eco International. The winner will go to will fly to Egypt in April to compete. Um, it's a very relatively a newer pageant. It has been running for four years, and their focus and advocacy is mainly on uh, ecotourism and uh, helping the environment. The second crown is the Reina Hispano Americana, which is based in Bolivia, and it has been running actually for a very long time, for 26 years. And the, all, the countries that are uh, encouraged to participate in this pageant are the countries that have links or ties to Spain. So Philippines being a colony of Spain for some time, na they've been looking forward to actually have a contestant, but they never had a chance to. So this year, Miss World Philippines is very happy to send that contestant to this pageant. And then the last is the Miss Multinational. It's actually going for its first year. But previously, it was actually handled by a Filipino in Davao. Then an Indian person or an organization, Aglamanan, got it uh, early, uh, late last year and said they will be staging the pageant in New Delhi, India. Wow. Okay. Um, will this be, of course, uh, will this be on equal footing with the title of Miss World Philippines? What's, how's the winner going to be chosen? Are they like, of course, they're going to be like first, first runner up, second runner up, and then these titles? Is that? The headline, of course, is the Miss World Philippines. That's the main. And then we, we have a special um, crown for the other uh, runner ups, which is the, the, three, the three titles. And then we still have the first and the second princess right. as part of the runner up, too. Would the crown so for the. Uh -huh. uh, six crowns. Six, six titles. Six titles will be given. Um, are all the crowns going to be designed by Miss Megan Yan? Or just the main Miss World Philippines crown? So, ano lang siya, sorry, just to make things clear, I'm not the one designing it. Um, like I said, I'm, it's more of a collab. So, since I'm okay. consulting with Miss World Philippines, um, it will have to go through me. That's very bossy. It has to go through me. Um, so yeah, my collaboration, of course, with the designer that will be making the crown. So, make it simple. The crown will be designed by a specific jewelry designer, and we will collaborate in terms of deciding what the final design will be. And you have the last say. I have the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, Gemma from Orange Magazine. Um, this is just a curious question lang because uh, I know this is a new franchise, but I'm wondering if there's any chances now we can unite all the past Miss World uh, candidates also with the new Miss World, or is it not possible? Uh, if we can unite the, the, the former candidates, yes. I mean, of course, I'm inviting everyone. Actually, we, it's a it's a unity. That's not the purpose of this world. It's unity, goodwill, peace, and understanding. So I'm inviting everyone. All the former winners, all the former candidates, they are invited to join us if they're willing to help for their charity works. That's the, that's the purpose of this world. So there's no conflict, sir being related to the past franchise? No. I, I, I have no limitations and everyone is invited. As long as you are a former candidate and at the same time you are a former princesses or or a former of you, anyone, anyone is invited. Okay, thank you. I think it is also, uh, there are a lot of other representatives of the Philippines to this world that has expressed their support for us. Um, if I remember it right, during Queen's year, not post in Sirupa, so their support is really there for, for the Miss World Philippines. Mabuhay! Ako po si Armin Adina, wala sa Philippine Daily Inquiry. I understand that the national pageant will take place in September, but the international competition will be in November. That's just roughly two months to prepare our candidate. How are you going to make sure that our national winner will be a force to reckon with in the global stage? Of course, um, September 3 is the final, no? So we have two months to prepare. We'll give them rigid uh, uh, training with the best trainer at, in part of, a, part of our team. And number two, we will support 100% our winner because that's the, our purpose, you know, to, make, to, make, to have another Miss World. And not only that, uh, fashion designers, all the people involved, we will definitely 100% support for the, for the new Miss World Philippines. 
And in addition to what ALB said, andito yung mga past winners natin. So I'm pretty sure na kung sino man yung mananalo this year will be guided thoroughly. And I mean, Megan and I were saying that two months is actually a long time because we had much less. Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. I had two weeks, Megan had two weeks, and look, I mean, look what happened. So imagine now, with all of us helping the new winner and with so much time, I'm sure she'll do great. Thank you very much, congratulations. And, uh, and also, I can attest to the fact that <laughs> Megan is very helpful with the past winners because I had an experience with her. She helped me pack my bag. She helped me cooperate with the designers. Yes, she did that. I think before I left, she was in my condo. She was on the floor packing all of my shoes. <laughs> she really did that for me. So I'm just giving the assurance that it doesn't matter how short my time will be because there are six queens here who gone through that and we will do our best to help each other. Yeah, and as well as having a support system of all of us as sisters, I think that the candidates should prepare early because it's always good to be prepared for whatever is coming your way, especially now that the new format has been announced. Um, any interested beautiful women who are interested in joining us on this journey um, can really research what Miss World is about to prepare an advocacy, to prepare talent and everything. So I think it's also uh, the combination of a great team, a great support system, and a great um, to be prepared on behalf of the candidate. Thank you very much and congratulations. Good afternoon. Uh, congratulations to the new Miss World team. Uh, my first question is about uh, regarding the fast track events. Um, does it mean that only one candidate can win one fast track event? Yes. Okay, so if she is really very competitive, so you, you would give the other to the next uh, in line, like uh, the second placer, uh, another fast track event? Um, yes. So all of the fast track winners will be announced in the pageant night. Okay. So Thank you. that's how it will be to become a semi-final. Yes. So walang well, repetition. And uh, to Megan, um, can you tell us a little more about uh, the new crown that you yourself designed? <laughs> well, like I said, I didn't design it. <laughs> there is a designer specifically who will uh, make that decision. Um, I have yet to see, meet this designer, but I know Bessie has told me that there are a number of designs all, already done, and we're meeting with the designer on Sunday para makapag-design na kami what the crown will look like. Para pagdating na siguro, like when there's a big event with Miss World Philippines, uh, we can unveil the crown right away. So by Sunday, I'll be meeting with them. Maybe we can give a hint. <laughs> Soon enough. Hopefully, hopefully, um, yeah. We'll see. Sunday, pakapi pa magbili. So sorry if I can't give you any details just yet. We look forward to that. Thank you. Okay. And one more, one last question about the charities. Uh, you are going to your your charities, uh, Jose Reyes Memorial Medical Center. Does it mean that you are going to uh, help with the whole hospital or just uh, a certain department? So right now we're focusing on the children's work because I think uh, and we believe that uh, that is the pinaka uh, important na part ng hospital. But on top of that, we're expanding naman our reach with the hospital. Uh, actually, I've been to the, to the hospital. I was the one who said, suggested that uh, I want to help this hospital. But for the past previous years, kasi, it was always PGH. So PGH, parang ang dami na, dami na tumutulong. So this hospital in Manila, that I've been there, and it was really, it's kawawa yung hospital, especially the children's ward. And I called, I told them that I really want to help this hospital. Then I called all the sponsors to help us, you know, to build wards for children with cancer, especially with cancer. And not only the children's ward, I saw also people with AIDS. So they usually, th those who are underprivileged, people with AIDS with underprivileged, they usually do the other lab. It's either you have San Lazaro or the Oseria. So I saw it. So that's another thing that tutulugan natin, to give ward, a nice uh, ward or place for people who are ailment and sickness. Thank you very much. Good luck, guys. I don't know. <laughs> 
Congratulations, sir. We look forward to a bigger and better this world Philippines. Thanks, Marlon. Uh, my question is for you. No? Uh, I think we were talking about this, uh, about your uh, need for an extensive search for, for candidates. So how are you doing uh, this search? Are you opening uh, the search for all uh, beauty camps? Are you going uh, regional? Um, number one, we open it to all the camps. I know there are yes. two big camps and then there are several camps also. Correct. And we open this also to regional and to the international. We have some candidates from US, again from Australia, from okay. Italy, from Europe, from, from Middle East. So we're gonna open this, we're gonna open the doors to ladies who was inspired or aspired to become a beauty queen. Not only in the Philippines, but as long as you are a Filipino. Okay, so, good. good. Uh, will, will the ladies be part of the screening committee as well? Pardon? Will, will they also be a part of the screening committee? Uh, will they also be a screening yes, candidates? Yes. Okay. What are we looking for, uh, Megan, uh, Catriona, Hillary, and the other ladies? Uh, Who are we looking for? The thing that I admire in a Miss World Philippines contestant is not just the, the, the drive to have a title and to have that kind of label of I'm a queen, but to actually fulfill the responsibility that comes with it. Because looking up to the queens that we've had in the past, yes. we have some amazing women who have empowered others through doing charity or advocacy or pursuing something that they believe in. So that for me gives substance to a queen. So that's what I would be looking for in a candidate. Uh, for me, no matter when, whenever there's you know a new Miss World Philippines, syempre nandun na yung naghahanap tayo ng mabait na tao. Diba? Somebody that loves charity and is looking forward to helping out. And like Catriona said, drive is already a given na talaga. But I think it's somebody that will not only see themselves as, you know, as a queen, as, you know, I have an image. Mm -hmm. It's more of a, this is a job, and I'm going to do my job way better than any of us. <laughs> like, gusto nila talbogan lahat ng achievements namin. Na, oh, pwede naman sa sarili na lang nila yun. <laughs> diba? But the confidence that they'll have to really overcome any achievements that have been made to make their ring better and brighter. I totally look forward to seeing girls like that. Girls that have, you know, diba, yung gusto talaga nila, overachievers nila, but always, you know, keep it humble, girl. Diba? <laughs> so, ayun, yun yung hinahanap ko talaga. Something, that, that extra personality. Kasi lahat naman kami dito, I can really attest na lahat kami. You know, we have that spunk and we have that personality that we bring to the table. I think like uh, Megan and Katrina said, it's very important. Like you said, it's not only the appearance, not only the looks, it's really what comes from within. So Miss World really is, you know, beauty inside and out, and it's really a well-rounded lady who's also good at, like you said, charity, who's also beautiful, who's good at catwalk, who's good at sports, who has a talent. It's really, we're looking yeah. for an all-around beautiful Filipina well lady. For me, um, it's not just about beauty, but of course, you have, you have to have that intelligence, that personality, that the, the character of being a beauty queen, and of course, the drive, as what they said, to be passionate enough for charity, and of course, to be a good role model for all the girls. I think for me, my number one criteria would be sincerity, because everyone can be very passionate for you know, to, to get a crown initially, but as Megan and the rest of the girls have said, this is a job. And if you cannot fulfill your duty, and if you cannot put sincerity in the things that you do, then you, would, you wouldn't be an effective Miss World Philippines. And you won't be able to get a crown in Miss World. Good. Okay, my last question for Al for, 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 uh, There's a there's, uh, buzz that uh, Miss World will be held in the Philippines next year. Uh, would you like to comment? Not next year. I have an offer to do to stage it on 2019, actually. So I need the help of the government, support of the government, 
the support of the sponsors and all the Filipinos that we can, you know, we can stage it here for the first time. Like, like, and this world will be shown in 146 countries. It's bigger than the other budget. No? Other budget. Other budget. <laughs> so this is total of 146 countries. I think it is bigger. We can showcase our country in 146 country, the beauty of the people, the beauty of our tourism, and of course, you know, the hospitality of the Filipino people. Sana magtumuno yung mga sponsors, not only me, but also our sponsors, our government, especially the Department of Tourism. I hope they will, you know, listen to me and, you know, to stage the, the show, the event here in our country. Okay. They will listen to ALP events. Congratulations. <laughs> Good afternoon.